into this because there was a war of words over yeah. the weekend between quarantine uh, nurse Casey Hick. You'll be able to get in with this, but I want to play this for you. With the nurse who said that her basic human rights have been violated, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie had this to say about it. I know she didn't want to be there. No one ever wants to be in the hospital, I suspect. And so I understand that. But the fact is, I have a much greater, bigger responsibility to the people of the public. And so um, I think when she has time to reflect, she'll understand that as well. So, d Doctor, uh, uh, you were wanting to get in here. Do you think that this, this response is disproportionate in New York and New Jersey? Don, let me, let me just say this. Can we please demystify quarantine? Okay, uh, you know, quarantine is not necessarily what we see in the movies with the sterile white uh, uh, enclosed enclosure with people in moon suits and handing you things through uh, gloves in the wall, etc. You know, quarantine can be very comfortably done at home. Um, and in most cases will be a self-imposed quarantine. In fact, don't even call it quarantine. Call it a supervised uh, respite period or what, 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 what have you. We need to dis demystify it. And I'll tell you, one thing that really concerned me uh, with the CDC uh, statement today was one, I, I can't tell you verbatim, but, but a statement that was made about how the, West Af the, the doctors and nurses and healthcare workers going to West Africa are heroes, and they absolutely are. I absolutely agree they are heroes. However, it then went on to say, let's not turn them into pariahs when they come home. Quarantine does not turn you into a pariah. Quarantine can be a very comfortable uh, uh, you know, uh, situation to be in. And in fact, you may pick up your symptoms even sooner if you do happen to convert and contract uh, Ebola. All right. So, Dr. Gounder, do you agree? She said, she said that her 